What's up, YouTube? Back with another Friday commentary. And last Friday, I talked about why 2K is not a good competitive game and why I don't play 2K competitively. And today, we talking about practice and how I feel like 2K really needs to revamp and upgrade its practice and tutorial modes and really do a better job at teaching people how to play and do a better job at giving us information about the game. Because 2K really wants to appeal to newer players and average players and stuff like that. And the way they do it is it's just by straight up making the game easier. But I feel like instead of doing that, why not just put the right tools and things in place and really teach them how to play the game? And me personally, I spend quite a bit of time in practice, whether it's practicing dribble moves, uh, certain shots, practicing with certain players, freelances, plays. I'm always in the lab. And for the first like three months of the game, I spent more time in practice than I did in actual games in terms of play now. In park, I just made my build, went straight to the park. The only time I played my career was to get badges. But in play now, like the first few months of the game, like I would play a, a game here and there, but I was practicing like a lot of plays and doing a lot of playbook videos and just kind of learning the game through practice. And when you see me play and you see me take certain shots or use certain moves and do the things that I do more times than not is because I practiced it. Like if you see me call a ISO on the wing, do a double momentum into a behind the back, go to the baseline and shoot a fade. I didn't just do that out of nowhere. I did that because I practiced that move. If you see me do a jab step, spin, step back into the corner, it's because I practiced it. So like I said, I'm always in the lab, but I just wish that the practice modes were upgraded and just revamped to the point where you can control the environment a lot more. But before I wanted to get into that, I also wanted to mention that 2K could be doing a way better job at actually teaching people basketball. Because for me personally, my first ever basketball experience was through video games. I remember being like a little kid, like five years old or something, playing Live 98 for the PlayStation 1. Like that was my first ever basketball experience that I could remember. And from then on, I've played like 2K for Dreamcast and stuff like that. And then eventually like watching and playing basketball and stuff like that so my first basketball experience was through video games and i'm pretty sure it's the same for a lot of people today 2k is growing every year 2k always gets new players and a lot of them may not have played or watched a lot of basketball but you know 2k got them into basketball which is cool but like I just said, 2K doesn't really do that good of a job of actually teaching you basketball. And this is something that the older PS2 Maddens, they did pretty well. There was a mode called Madden 101 and they had John Madden actually narrating a lot of offensive formations and going over plays and talking about what they were designed to do, who blocks who, who goes where and stuff like that. And actually did a good job of teaching you about aspects of real football. And I'm going to show an example. The split backs formation is mainly a passing formation, typically featuring two wide receivers, a tight end, and two running backs. This play is called halfback off tackle. Now here are some of the keys to making the play a success. The fullback runs outside leading the way. The left guard pulls right and blocks this guy. The center picks up this block. The wide receivers try to run off the cornerbacks. After getting the toss or handoff, the running back has to follow his guard in the off-tackle hole, then turning up field and finding a clear running lane. Set! Hut! Hut, hut! And this was Madden 2004, which released in late 2003. So it's crazy that a game that came out going on 19 years ago has this interactive tutorial that modern games today don't even have. And I know 2K has 2K TV. And I know in some episodes they go through like a lot of game tutorial type stuff, which is cool. But it's like, who's going to watch a whole 2K TV episode to watch a little tutorial? Like, why not put it in the game somewhere or at least like after the 2K TV? TV episode release they put it somewhere in like the 2ku tutorials page or something like nobody's gonna watch a 2k tv episode to, to watch a tutorial and something like this can go a long way of again not only teaching people how to play 2k but also teaching them real basketball like this could be so good when talking about like freelances and like why players do certain actions or stand certain parts of the court why certain actions happen what each freelance is really designed to do the strengths and weaknesses of the freelance it can work well for plays you don't have to do it for every play but um have 
something that explain like what the names mean because I made a video about play name meanings back in like 2K20 and I found out what the play names mean just by like running a lot of plays and then just learning on my own like 2K didn't teach me that at all I just figured it out eventually that you know things like fist mean pick and roll punches a post up quick is some type of off ball action to get a shooter open iso is isolation and then you have other words like rip which is like somebody like cutting to the basket stagger is a double off ball screen ghost is when somebody fakes like they're gonna set you a screen and they slip to the basket or just pop or whatever but yeah 2k didn't teach me any of that like i kind of just had to figure that out on my own and they don't even teach you simple stuff like a pick and roll like the pick and roll is the simplest yet probably most effective thing you can do and it's something that you'll play against a lot but they don't even teach you like the basics of a pick and roll and the same thing goes with the defensive coverages like they have in the defensive settings like a little explanation but like having an actual like interactive video or something that you could watch will actually be really good and teach you about you know hedging what's a soft hedge what's a hard hedge off ball coverages so like you know play tight deny what does gap mean the pros and cons of going over a screen the pros and cons of going under a screen what is blitzing the ball handler like the game doesn't teach you any of that but these are common things that you will hear in basketball uh in 2k but the game doesn't teach you any of it and moving on to like the actual practice modes and the game like the training game they call it that's in the game it's actually not that bad like it's pretty good especially if you're new and you like you're just trying to get a feel of the controls even if you're not new it could teach you like a couple things that you probably didn't know and like i said it's not that bad it's just that you can't really take it up or notch. like you can't change the difficulty so it's just always on rookie you can't change the players and it just doesn't have any replayability like once you go through it once you'll never touch it again and again this is something that older maddens did really Really well with the training camp mini games because not only did they teach you how to play a little bit but they also were fun and intuitive and i remember you know either going to a friend's house or a family's house or someone coming to my house and we wouldn't even play like the actual game like we would just spend hours in the training camp mini game modes because they were just that fun and again, it's crazy how a game that released in late 2003 got this correct when a lot of modern games don't. Especially when you compare it to not only this training game, but also the drills in my career. Like, those drills are not fun at all. I feel like they were just made to be annoying. They don't really teach you much about the game. And now since you get to pick what drills you want to do, most people just pick the, the drills that's going to give you the most points. And speaking of my career, why do we have to buy an animation? before we can actually like practice and use it like why can't we just practice with the animation before buying it but moving on to like the other practice modes like practicing plays and scrimmage mode like i spend a lot of time in the practice plays going through different playbooks and stuff but why can't you do this in the two most popular modes like i don't play my career but i'm pretty sure you can't practice plays with your team in my career which only makes sense but you can't do it at least as far as i know and surprise Surprisingly, you can't do it in my team either, considering how much money my team makes them. The fact that you can't practice your playbook with your team and my team, as well as have team scrimmages, is crazy to me, especially because you can do it in my league. Like, you can practice plays and edit your playbook and have team scrimmages over there, but you can't do that in my team. Like, the only thing my team has is freestyle mode. Like, there's literally no way to, like, actually practice with your team in a controlled environment, which leads me to the next thing, which is this lack of control and lack of information that you have and this is something that fighting games especially do really well in their tutorial and practice modes because they give good information and you can control the environment so like you can have your button inputs on the screen it can show you frame data of each attack if you really want to get into it it'll give you information on really technical things and technical terms like plus on block and on top of that you can control the environment like you can control what the ai does you can have it just stand still and do nothing you can have it block you can have it jump you can have it attack you can have it do a certain attack so that 
that you can practice defending against that certain attack and basically just make it do whatever you want so you can practice any specific thing that you want to practice but in 2k you can't do that which is just unfortunate especially defensively like there's not really a lot of good ways to practice defense outside of just playing against real people because like i said you can't control the ai so if you want to learn how to guard momentum spam or curry slide spam or just like the cheesy dribble moves like there's no way to do it other than just play against somebody that knows how to do it because i can't make the ai spam momentums so i can learn how to guard it i can't really practice pick and roll defense because the ai doesn't move like real people and there's no way for me to make them move like real people so while you can practice things like pick and roll defense or just defense in general like you will never be able to simulate an actual person and yeah that's pretty much it for the video that's all i gotta say uh, let me know how y'all feel in the comments do y'all want to see a revamp of the practice modes do y'all even care about practice do y'all even practice would you practice if the practice modes were better let me know all that stuff in the comments and as always i hope you enjoyed thanks for watching and stay tuned for more content